Hey, hey everybody, happy Friday. It's time for Facebook Friday. Hope you guys have had a good week. This week, um, we are gonna make three projects for the Irresistible Blooms bundle. This is a new online exclusive product. You won't find it in any catalog, it's only online. And this week I've learned to spell the word irresistible. <laughs> I typed it like 30 times yesterday and it took me a while to get it right. That's a big word. That's a hard one. But anyways, that's what we're doing today. Irresistible blooms. Um, we're going to use the paper that coordinates with it called Hello Irresistible. Again, I had to type that word irresistible. I'm telling you like 30 times. <laughs> it's a big one. All right, good. I see you guys jumping on. Let me pull up my video okay now you guys i got a couple of things in the mail this week that were super cute well it wasn't this week over the last couple of weeks um and i want to show them to you uh when i get a package in the mail i get so excited as we all do right and this one came from cassia i hope i say your name right cassia 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 you know, I'm sure I'm not the only one who says it wrong, but you are so sweet. Look what she sent. It's a taco gnome. He is so cute. So cute. And a beautiful card. I love this card. Very cute. Perfect colors, bright and beautiful. Um, thank you. I have started a collection of all my Taco Fiesta cards. I don't know, after my stamp set, goes away, which I don't know when that'll be. I'm going to do something like make like a, a shadow box display or something with all the super cute cards. If you guys haven't checked out over on Instagram, stamping through the catalog, um, it's, um, an Instagram, um, account run by three of Stampin' Up's concept artists and they feature two stamp sets each week. And then they go and they will pull um, other people's projects to feature them. And this week it's Taco Fiesta that they're featuring. So make sure you hop over there. It's stamping through the catalog. It's pretty easy to find. And I shared the link here on Facebook yesterday. Sorry, I'm shaking the table. I don't know why it's shaking this week. All right, now I got another cute package. Let me show you what's inside. Very, very cute. Some hot tamales. You know, I didn't see, I couldn't find the hot tamales in a package like this. The only thing I could find them in um, was the big box, you know, um, like the movie theater candy size box. This is all from Missy. Missy, super cute. Love the bright adorableness. Um, and then she also um, made a little, oh my gosh, this is so cute. This little holder for the, do you guys, okay, so I live in San Antonio where Mexican food and Mexican candy, all that is super popular. So I see these all the time, but I didn't know, you know, when I started making my projects, I didn't know if you guys would see these kinds of things around. Um, it's like flavoring, spicy flavoring, I believe. Um, but look how cute she made a little holder for it. So Missy, you're so creative. Thank you very much. And I was just looking at the burrito soft taco. He has like lines on him. It looks like it has texture. It's really cool. So Anyways, thank you. I appreciate it, you guys. Super sweet. I love all of it. Oh, look, she sent me the measurements too. Very smart. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and flip you guys around and show you some things. Um, flip you around, come on camera, do it. There we go. So celebration is over. Wah, wah. But you know what? That's okay because we're moving on to other things like these online exclusive products. So, and forgive me because I haven't learned the whole um, schedule. Basically, they will release a mini catalog. Then a, like two months later, there will be an online exclusive release. And then two months later, it'll be the annual catalog. Two months later, online exclusive. So every few months we're going to be getting new stuff, which I love. Um, and I want to show you when you go to stampinup.com, you're going to see it right here, online exclusives. But I think if you touch the little three lines right here, you should probably be able to find it too. Let's see if it gives me, I haven't, yeah, right here. So under products, online exclusives. 
And there's all these new products. It's going to show you all the new things first. Um, and then it'll go through and show you other things that are on here that have been here for a while um, that are online exclusives like kits and some of our logo products. But I want to show you if you go to the end. Oh, look, it's already unavailable. <laughs> they have some punches that they've brought back, some circle punches it's kind of hidden back there in the back. So if you need a two inch circle punch. We, we have them in stock again. They took them away from us a while ago. <laughs> and we weren't happy. So I guess they're bringing them back online only. Um, but I want to show you the things. I ordered um, some of the online exclusive things to show you. This is the silver and gold trim. I love when we have just a like a quarter inch. That may be, even be an eighth of an inch. It's a very narrow ribbon. I like narrow ribbon um, on cards because it doesn't bulk things up. Um, this stamp set's really sweet. Growth takes time. Um, I just made a card today with that. And I thought that was a really nice stamp set. Then there is the Tropical Leaf Bundle, which is awesome. We had um, some dies with the tropical leaves on them um, a few years ago that I love. So I'm happy to see this. And then this is probably my favorite. Rhino Ready. I will be doing a Facebook Friday with this at some point. Rhino ready. So, so, so cute. Look at him. He's just the cutest. You didn't know you needed a rhino stamp until you saw this one. And now we're all like, oh my gosh, so cute. And then these dies, I forget what they're called. Um, and then there's another set of dies that I thought I ordered, but apparently I entered the wrong number and I got a stamp set that I already have. <laughs> you guys ever do that? Oh, it makes me so mad when I do that. It's my own fault because I didn't double check my order. So go on onto the stampinup.com website and check out all the new things. It's fun. Um, I'm going to show you the, the new things we're going to use here in a little while too, the other new things. All right, new all-star tutorial started on the 1st. This month we are using the By the Bay Suite, which I believe the dies are unorderable right now. Um, hopefully they're coming back in soon. Um, because this is a fantastic uh, bundle. And all the projects in here feature, obviously, the um, By the Bay suite of products. They are video tutorials, and they um, are each designed by a different demonstrator. Um, I'm losing my train of thought. 12 projects, 12 demonstrators, all videos. All right? And here is mine this month. Um, it's a little box. The treat box. Um, you can earn this for free if you spend $50 with me in March, or you can buy it in my PDF store, which is linked at the top of my blog. Okay, so I don't have a class to go right now, but I'm hoping to have one by next week. And I, I well, I don't want to talk about it yet because I'm not 100% sure what I'm doing. But what I do have right now is Club Create. And March Club Create features the playing in the rain. These dies right now are unorderable. But they are due back in the warehouse the week of March 13th. Um, club Create is a subscription club that I do. If the package comes to you um, with about $20 in product. It has five projects. Um, you have a video tutorial and a PDF tutorial. And if you subscribe for six months in a row, you get a $25 product credit. The subscription period for this goes until the 7th, which is Tuesday. That's a hard deadline on that 7th. Um, so if you want to subscribe to Club Create for March, make sure that you click the Club Create tab at the top of pink, my blog, pinkbuckaroo.com, and there's a subscription link there. Now, coming up next after that is The Greatest Journey. This will be April's Club Create, The Greatest Journey. I am madly in love with this entire suite. So April, if you if you are not a subscriber and you want to subscribe for this kit, wait until April 8th because that is when the window opens. Um, if you are already a subscriber, you don't have to do anything. You're in, you're in. It's, uh, PayPal is going to charge you every month until you cancel it. And you can cancel anytime. There's no commitment, um, you know, amount that you have to, you can join for one month, two months, 30 months, I don't know, <laughs> however many you want. 
All right, how about prizes from last week? Um, I picked two people at random who shared my video. And Susan Little and Lisa Carter, congratulations. I believe I have both of your mailing addresses. Um, if you have moved or you want to just confirm your mailing address, Lisa, I know I have yours. She's on my team. But Susan, I think I have yours. But if it's changed, let me know, okay? Thank you for sharing my video. I appreciate it. Um, oh, I didn't pick a prize. Shoot, I forgot to pick a prize. Um, okay, let's see if I can pick something really quick. Hold on. Let's see what I got over here. I've got a lot of things to choose from. Okay, here's one. Here's a good one. Hold on. Now everything's falling out of the cabinet. All right, this week, how about the nested friends bundle? That's what I'll give away next week. Um, if you would like to win this, share my video either on Facebook or YouTube, and then make sure you comment that you shared. Okay, and I'll pick a winner next week. Okay, all right, I'm gonna pull my hair up for a second. Just hold on. It's starting to get real warm here. It's the beginning of the summer, it's starting. Today's beautiful, but whew, the heat comes and it stays when it gets here. Okay, so if you have never joined me for Facebook Friday, welcome, we're glad you're here. Every week I pick a product and make three projects with it. I also offer those projects for free with a minimum $30 online order. Um, this is the host code for this week. This is what they look like when they come to you. You do need the stamps and the dies. I don't do any stamping um, or any of the die cuts using this die cut set. Now, if there are circles or banners or whatever, I will cut those for you. Um, but you will need this bundle to complete these projects unless you have something else you want to use in its place. You can order anything you want on the website um, as long as it's over $35 before tax and shipping. It uses this host code and it's in by Monday at midnight. I will cut you a package on Tuesday and mail it to you on Wednesday. Okay, there we go. That is that. Now let me get a drink. Just a second. All right, so today... We are using one of the new online exclusives. Oh, if you go over to um, pinkbuckaroo.com, you'll also find a free PDF that looks like this. Um, it's free. You can save it, print it, whatever you want. It has measurements and um, product lists on it. Okay, so this is the bundle, Irresistible Blooms. And I will tell you at first, I was like, okay, I've got flowers. I don't need flowers. But then I started looking. I love the fonts and I love the sayings um, and then the dyes are really really cool so now that I've used it I'm like oh my gosh I can't even believe that I thought about not buying it because it is a really really good set um, there is paper a new six by six pack of paper that coordinates with it you can see there's those flowers um, and the fun thing about this paper is that it has two sneak peek colors in it. Um, <coughs> we're gonna have a color refresh coming up in the next catalog. A color refresh means Stampin' Up! looks at all of our colors and decides which ones need to retire and where we have holes in our color families where we need to bring in new trendy colors. So two of the colors we know, all that we know, that they're bringing back are the, are the two colors that are in here, um, Lost Lagoon, and Pretty Peacock. And they're both kind of a greenish bluish, right guys? I, I, I remember Pretty Peacock, it's like a jewel tone. Actually, I'm gonna show you a card here in a minute with the cardstock. But Lost Lagoon, remind me guys, it was like um, maybe more bluish than greenish, right? Kind of like a, like a, I don't know, like a muted, I don't know, I can't remember. I can't remember, you guys. Those of you who love Lost Lagoon, tell us, because I know that there are Lost Lagoons. Um, okay, good. Thank you, Carla. The post is up. Thank you. I didn't, I forgot to ask. Um, Lost Lagoon, a dusty blue. Michelle, there you go. A dusty blue. Kind of blue-green with more blue. Yep, exactly. Okay, and then the Pretty Peacock is a jewel tone, and it's really pretty. I think like this would be a mix of the two, wouldn't you think? 
Um, I think that's probably what's in those, the, that, that pattern paper. Um, the other thing about this paper is that the dyes right here match the leaves and the flowers. So if you don't want to stamp and you want the easy button, then you can just get the paper and the dies and cut the flowers and the leaves out. I love when Stampin' Up! does that. It's very clever. All right, now here's the last thing I'm going to show you. And believe it or not, these are already unorderable. I don't know how that happened because they've only been out for a few days. But they are called Loose Frosted Dots. And that you can see that pretty peacock color in there, jewel. It's a very deep jewel color. Um, and these are fun because they don't have adhesive, so you can, um, you get more in the package, I think, when you, when they don't have adhesive on them. And we'll just use glue. Um, but they'll be back in stock. They're coming back. They're not sold out forever. So, never fear. They'll be back. Oh, the other thing I forgot to tell you were the new embossing folders. The, there's, um, a pack of embossing folders in, in the online exclusives. Um, make sure I get the right ones. It's these three right here. They're called the Essentials. The Basics, what are they called? The Basics, Basics Embossing Folder, and it's three of them. I love the polka dot one because I love polka dots. But we're going to use this one today, kind of a crosshatch type texture. And it, they're, they're very subtle um, textures, which I like. I like when it's just kind of a subtle um, texture. Okay, are we ready? Hello to everybody. I'm so glad that you're here. You guys, I'm like half asleep today. <sighs> Hopefully I can survive through all three projects without falling asleep. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, who said that? Cliffy, I need to dig into my storage boxes. I know, I, I found Pretty Peacock. Here we go, here's Pretty Peacock. I found Pretty Peacock in my stash. Pretty Peacock hasn't been gone that long. Maybe two years, maybe. Um, so I found that, but I know I don't have Lost Lagoon. I don't, I don't think I do. Um, Pretty Peacock was a very popular color when it was an in color, but now it'll be one of our core colors, which is exciting. All right, so we're going to make this card and I'm going to make the one in Flirty Flamingo just because for make and takes, I don't have a whole lot of this paper to send. So we'll make it in Flirty Flamingo, but I made the same card using the, um, Pretty Peacock color just so that you guys could see it in that color. And it is really beautiful. All right, so we're going to do some die cutting on this card base. We're gonna emboss it first with our um, embossing folder. And then we're gonna use this die right here to cut out the window. Um, when I first saw this, I thought it would cut out a shape, you know, like a loose shape, but it cuts out a window. It leaves it attached to the cardstock. So it's a great um, use to make a window in your card. But we're going to do some other stamping too so that when we bring that cut and emboss machine over, we can get it all done at once. I'm also using Sew Saffron. I love Sew Saffron. I am a Brights girl, but I think I love Sew so Saffron. I think it's my preferred yellow. It's just a soft, buttery yellow, and I like it. Um, Mossy Meadow. Now, there's been lots of talk, you know, like, okay, what um, colors are retiring? You know, like, everybody's kind of freaking out, like, oh, my gosh, because we don't know. And one thing that they told us in the announcement, they, they, the only thing they told us is that a color refresh was coming. They um, also said that if colors that are retiring, if they if their stock is depleted, then it's sold out. So it's kind of freaking me out a little bit, not knowing what colors are going and what colors could sell out. You know, like, oh, it's a gamble. I don't know. I don't know. It's a little, it's a little nerve wracking. I get why they're doing it. They don't want us all to rush and immediately buy all the cardstock and it all sell out immediately because it's really early. You know, the new catalog won't be out until May. But it's also a little bit nerve wracking when you're planning projects and classes. The good thing is, is we have 40 colors plus 10 more. We have 50 colors to choose from. So if one sells out, we always have other things to use in the meantime. 
Okay, so we're gonna cut these out. Let's see if I can get this in the right place. So yesterday, well, actually day before yesterday, my mom and I drove up to Waco, which is about three hours north of us. This is where my daughter, my oldest daughter goes to college. She is a studio art major and she decided, she's a sophomore, she also has a part-time job at a local art gallery. She just kind of fell into this job and it's been amazing for her to be working at an art gallery. And the woman that runs it is amazing. She encourages Ellie um, a lot. And Ellie just decided that she was going to curate her own art show. And the woman who owns the studio was like, okay, you can have the whole month of March. So then Ellie, who's only 20, sent out an all call for artists. She got like 56 um emails back, like lots of people interested, artists from the local area, but also from the um, Baylor community. Okay, so I'm putting this in here on the front of the card, and I'm just using plate one. So then she organized this month-long um, art show um, celebrating women, because it's women, what is it, women's month? You know, it's always some month but I can't remember. What, what do they call it? Women's Appreciation Month? I don't know. But she, it was the theme of women. And so we went up there for opening night and it was amazing. You know, to see your kids become adults and do adult things is really cool. So we're really proud of her. I think that's why I'm tired because we got up real early, drove back and I don't know. My body's just like feels like I jet lagged or something, but I mean, it was only three hours away. I don't know. I'm just out of my routine. Do you guys get like that when you're out of your routine? Just like, ugh. Okay, so we're gonna put this right here, kind of in the top section of the card, but you also wanna make sure that it's centered in the middle. International Women's Month, thank you, Patsy. That's better than Women's Appreciation Month. <laughs> Every month is Women's Appreciation Month, right? I mean, come on. Okay, so there you go. Look, it looks like a necklace, doesn't it? It's really cool. It looks like a like a strand of pearls or something. We're very proud of her. She was um, overwhelmed and kind of stressed out. She also had some of her pieces in the show. And one of them was a huge piece that she started over Christmas break and it wasn't done. And I think that's what was really stressing her out. But she got it done. And now tomorrow she's leaving to lead a canoe trip in Big Bend National Park. I mean, the girl never stops. She works for their outdoor adventure program. Um, and she's leading a canoe down the the river that borders <laughs> Texas and Mexico. I'm like, oh my God. Okay, I'm not gonna think too much about that. All right, so I put um, dimensionals here and I'm putting the paper behind it so you can see it through there, okay? And I used dimensionals so that we would have some, um, kind of some dimension there. And then we'll take our buttery yellow flower. Let me put that down just a little bit more and we'll take some of our mossy meadow leaves. Okay, so before I got off on my bragging about my daughter, we were talking about the color refresh. Tell me what colors you would be totally okay if they left. What colors? Like you're like, bye. I can tell you right now. Oh, I forgot to cut out some other leaves. Okay, while we're talking, I'll do that. Um, I don't like Mary Merlot. I think I've used it once, maybe. I don't like, you know, there's not very many colors I don't like. Um, now, I heard people saying they didn't like soft seafoam or pear pizzazz, and we're gonna use both of those today. So that kind of like upset me because I like those colors. <laughs> there's a time and place for very soft greens. Christmas is not the time. <laughs> but spring is, right? Soft seafoam is a very soft, beautiful 
light green. Um, you know, Mossy Meadow that I'm using right now, I would have probably said that I could do without, but I'm kind of starting to like it. It's a good, deep, rich green. Um, Pacific Point, I like, but we just, I just feel like I don't use it very much. So I wouldn't be too sad. I have a feeling Mango Melody is going to go just because it never gets used. Although right now we have two sets of paper that uses it. Oh, okay. Nina, Blushing Bride. I'm sorry. That is the top of my list. Bye-bye, Blushing Bride. Bl blushing, dirty Blushing Bride <laughs> is what it should be called. It's a dirty pink and I do not like it. We need a, like a soft, like a, like a soft bubblegum pink. Not, not maybe bubblegum's not the right word. We need like a, so I'm taking these leaves, you guys. Oh, great. Now I've made a mess. I've got to lift this up and slide it under. Why did I do that? All right. Well, I'm just going to leave that there. Um, you know, petal pink, I don't like either. It's more of a peachy color, but Stampin' Up! uses it a lot. Oh, oh, mint macaron. I do not like mint macaron, but I know a lot of people love mint macaron, and I think Stampin' Up! loves mint macaron because they use it in everything. Am I going to make some enemies today? Powder pink, yes, Jean. Soft baby girl pink. Pink pirouette. If you've been around a while, we used to have pink pirouette, and I loved it. It's a very soft baby pink. Oh, yes, polished pink. Oh, I hope that polished pink stays. I love polished pink. It's replaced my favorite pink. It's replaced Melon Mambo for me. It's I love it. Okay, I'm going to take this linen thread, fold it in half, and make a bow like this. I've heard some people say soft suede needs to go, and I'm like, excuse me, I love soft suede. It is my favorite favorite brown it's my favorite neutral oh it better not go it better not all right i'm going to tuck this right under here like this okay so you want to kind of make it loosey-goosey kind of big and wide now some of you are not going to like this but we're going to do it we're going to fussy cut this and when you are going to fussy cut words get your pencil and draw the line that you're going to cut it really does help you um, cut better. You are, you know, when I just go for it without drawing a pencil, what happens is that some of the, the border, the white border is thicker than, and then, and then in other parts, it's super thin. So if you use your pencil, you can really kind of keep an eye on it being, you know, equal distance all the way around. And if you make a mistake, you can erase it. So then take your paper snips and just follow the pencil line, okay? Isn't this a beautiful font? I adore it. Okay, what other colors are you saying? Chocolate chip, ooh, Cliffy, that's been gone a while. Shaded spruce, yeah, you know, Patricia, shaded spruce is a weird color. I think I don't like it, but then when I end up using it, I'm like, oh, okay, well, it's not that bad. But I never like reach for it, you know, like it's never like, oh, I'm going to use shaded spruce. I only use it to match a color that's already in a paper. So they, uh, that's kind of a weird one. Um, let me see what else you guys are saying. Chocolate chip. You know, I remember liking chocolate chip, but not as much as soft suede. Would you say chocolate chip was somewhere in between early espresso and soft suede? More of a deeper brown? I remember, it's been gone a long time, you guys, right? Chocolate chip? Because uh, I can barely remember. Okay, so there. Now, once you have your beautiful fussy cutting, get a dimensional and stick it right there on top of that flower like that. All right, now let's put a few of these. Oh, that was weird. A big bubble came out. Let's do a few of these here. 
And the way I like to do this is to take the lid and just sprinkle some there. And then use my take your pick tool to pick them up and set them down. Sometimes they need a little help letting go. So if you just get your scissors and tap it, it'll come off. All right, there we go. Melon Mambo, you know, since Polish Pink has been around, I feel like nobody's really using Melon Mambo anymore. So I could see them potentially, hey, turn over, dude. I could see them potentially getting rid of Melon Mambo and replacing it with Polish Pink. I'm not saying I want them to do that. But I'm just saying I could see that happening. Okay, there you go, you guys. Easy card. Um, now, look through your designer series paper and see all the different colors in there. You can do this exact card in different colors. Okay? These look really light when the glue is wet, but then they, when it dries, they're, they're back to that dark color. Okay, so there's our first card. Let me move that out of the way and get the next one. I'm excited about the next one, you guys, because it is a fun fold that I had never heard of until just recently. It's called a slide and lock card, okay? So here's your card. Basically, it's an eight and a half by five and a half inch piece of cardstock where you fold in the, you know, you put a score line two and an eighth, two and an eighth from each end. And then it, they fold in like little doors, right? And then you create this thing that slides and keeps them closed. Right, and this thing, this mechanism is just folded cardstock and it just slides down right there. Isn't that clever? I don't know who invented that, but that is so cool. All right, so that's what we're gonna do. We are using soft sea foam, right? And did I not get watercolor paper? Darn it, darn it, darn it. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna watercolor, hold on, hold on. Let's see, do I have a piece? Oh yeah, here it is, here it is, here it is. I was like, I know I have that. So we're using the subtle um, soft sea foam, and then we're also using the bright, bold, gorgeous grape. I think they look really good together. All right, so this is a piece of shimmer paper, just a quarter piece. And we're gonna need almost the whole thing. So make sure when you put your tape down that you try not to take up too much of the space because you're gonna need, we're gonna cut both the circle and that little, this, this shape right here. We're gonna cut that out of it. All right, so I'm gonna take my block, make a little palette, and then get some water with my water painter. And then I'm just gonna brush the color on. Um, now what I normally do is I do this and let it dry and then I do it again and let it dry and then I probably do it again and let it dry so that you have layers upon layers of color. All right. So of course we're not going to do that. The other thing that you can do is flick water on it when it's dry and the other thing that I haven't done in a while, hold on, is I like to take salt, some kosher salt and sprinkle it. Well, gosh, it dried fast, didn't it? When there's water on there, it'll create this texture. And here's one that's done. You see how it created that really cool texture? So you can see my layers of color. So that back one, and then I came on and layered some more. And where the water dries, it creates those little hard edges, which I like, the little texture. Okay, so that's how I created this piece right here. We're going to, let's do our stamping first. We're gonna to need to clean these off. That way we can cut everything at the same time. Yes, gorgeous grape. So Brenda says, I miss chocolate chip. We don't really have a true brown brown. Okay, I'm gonna to have to go back and look at chocolate chip. Why do I not remember? Why is it not standing out to me? It should. Okay, here's pear pizzazz and soft sea foam. Pear pizzazz ink, soft sea foam, 
cardstock. All right, and then I've got a little hexagon here that I cut. This is from the Something Fancy Dies. I'm gonna stamp that there and pair pizzazz. Um, okay, we're gonna use, oh, come on, hello. We're gonna use a circle and we're gonna cut out the circle and then we're gonna use this, I don't even know what to call this shape and we're gonna cut that across there. Um, you may not see it here, but if you look in the photos, you'll see it. See how I've added that on um, just to kind of create a different, a little bit of texture on there. I want to use adhesive strips for this. And look, I don't have very much. Let's see if I have another sheet. Yes. So if we use adhesive sheets, that will create, it'll make it a sticker, which is gonna make it adhere to our circle. Okay, I'm gonna put this down here like this so that it's on the back and then we'll just peel that off. So this part down here is a sticker. And we'll put that there and that there. Now here's one thing I want to recommend to you that it's taken me several attempts at this to learn. When you cut this, um, this piece right here, this whatever this long shape is, if you cut it between here and here, all of those little strands aren't gonna be connected. Um, so I'm gonna cut at least one end so that when I take it off, it's connected and I can lay it down. It won't all be like falling apart. All right, so we'll do our circle there. And then, you know, I'm gonna turn it this way and we'll do our, our line of pearls <laughs> right there. Okay. Run it through. Close to Coco. Okay, I think that was before my time. Close to Coco. Wow, close to Coco. I don't remember that. Okay, so now we've got our... Well, did it stick together? There we go. Somewhat. Did I not get it on the end? I don't know. There we go. Okay, so we're gonna lay that down and adhere that onto the circle. See that? All right, and then we'll get our circle. Ooh, isn't that pretty? It kind of looks like the texture of sand. Okay, wait, we've got to cut these two. Um, my dies are right here. Um, okay, I do remember baked brown sugar Kimberly, and I loved that color. That was an in color. Baked brown sugar. I think that was, when I was an artisan, I think that was one of the end colors. I remember using that color a lot. It was a good one. Gosh, we've got, we've got an exciting time coming up. The new annual catalog comes out March, no, not March, hello, May, in May. And so in April, demonstrators will get to sneak peek it. And then, of course, you guys, if you're not a demonstrator, you'll see it because other demos will be showing it. And I'll be sneak peeking it with you. It's always exciting. Okay, so now here's the trick. Here's the hard part. We've got to get the adhesive sheet off of this very fragile piece of paper. So I'm going to carefully pull it off, and it's going to come off in pieces. So I'm going to have to... Let's see, lay it down over here. I think we did not get it off. So let's see if we can peel it off over here. There we go. Your take your pick tool really is so helpful, especially with the adhesive like this. Okay, so now let's just lay that down. Isn't that a fun little weird shape? I love it. All right, and then just set it down on there like that, okay? Just, I don't know, I love it. Like a planet or something. And then just go around and trim all the little things that are hanging off the edge. All right, okay. Let me get all of this trash out of here. Now we've got our 
hello. And we're gonna put that there. And then we've got our leaves and we're gonna slide them behind as well. One there, one there. Now here's a boo-boo, okay, you guys? I found this roll of ribbon in my ribbon drawer. And I was like, oh yeah, okay, soft sea foam ribbon, perfect. Well, last night when I was typing up the supply list, once again, I've used a ribbon that we no longer carry. I don't know when we had this ribbon and I don't know why I still have it. Was it in the holiday catalog? I said soft sea foam wasn't a holiday catalog color. So I'm sorry, if you have that ribbon, use it. If you don't, use white. Or there's gorgeous grape ribbon too that was just on the clearance rack and now it's gone. So some of you might have that. Okay, there's our little, there's our little thing. You guys are making me laugh. If I name it, you probably had, Cliffy, it was in the holiday catalog. See, you know, I go and say something like soft sea foam isn't a Christmas color. And then I use ribbon that was from the Christmas catalog. I should just not say things. <laughs> oh, goodness. Okay. Let me grab my grid paper, which is eluding me. Hello. Right here. I have cut two of these um, borders from the contour scallop dies. Scallop contour. I can never remember the name of that. And from Soft Sea Foam. And I'm gonna stamp the texture on here, but each time I'm gonna stamp off onto the grid paper first so it's not too terribly dark. All the way down. Okay. And now let's put our card together. Here's our card base, just like I told you. you Two and an eight, two and an eight, so it meets in the in the um, middle. Do I not have adhesive? What's happening? Did I not use any adhesive on the last card? Let's see if I can use my Stamp and Seal Plus without getting mad. Okay, it's behaving so far. I'm gonna put this DSP on each side like this. And then I'm going to adhere these. On the outside edges. Like that. Did you guys have bad weather last night? I know a lot of people in Texas had some bad weather. It kind of skated our area. My daughter called me hiding sheltering in a stairwell up in Waco last night from tornadoes which is fine but still kind of scary all right I meant to stamp some of the dots right there on that let me open the ink we've had weird wild weather lately weird weird weather our, le our electricity went out for a while okay so there we go you've got your card like that now Something looks crooked. Is it this one that's hanging off? I don't know. It looks like it's too long, but it's not. All right. Anyway, now here's how you're going to make your mechanism. You need four two by two squares. Two of them you're going to score at one inch. Okay. So that they are like this. And you're going to adhere them to one of your squares and they're going to open out okay now i do have an uh, individual recording of this project on youtube so if you come back to make this that'll be a better reference for you because i zoom in and it's a little bit easier to see and i'm gonna put that one there so here's what we have so far see that basically what's happening is that these little pieces right here are going to squeeze like that okay hopefully you guys can see that now take 
here it is up and adhere the other square on top. You got to get it lined up. You want to make sure your edges are lined up like that. Okay, see how that looks? And then you're just going to slide it down. Like that. Now, because the you're creating kind of a gap there between these doors. So you can either trim off about an eighth of an inch from each side, or you can take your bone folder. Let's put this back on over here. Take your bone folder and just, why does, look at that. Why is that like that? What is, something's going on in the bottom of my, in the bottom of my, tool holder, I can see there's like a glue that has leaked. Man, I'm glad I saw that before I did that. Oh, and I got a little bit right there. Okay, so you're going to take your bone folder and just make that lay flat. It's going to kind of redistribute your score line, okay? And then this is what it looks like. It goes up and down. So now we're just going to hide it Um, by putting our beautiful little gorgeous grape circle on the square like that and there you go and it'll slide isn't that fun oh my gosh it's so fun another engineering project you guys three weeks in a row we've been engineers I love it I you guys I'm going to probably use this this uh, fun fold technique many times in the next few months because I love it. All right, it's easy. It's easy and I, and I know you guys can do it. Have you guys made a slide and lock card before? I've never even heard of it. I love it. Okay, we are down to our last project and I have a 3D project for you. Let me uh, clean up my mess just a little bit and we will get started. Let's see, what do I need? Um, don't need that, I need this, and I need this. Mm -hmm. Okay, this time we are not using the Hello Irresistible paper. I decided I wanted to once again use that animal paper, like an animal. I love it. So I uh, use the flower and the words, and I use the Hello Animal paper. Have you guys seen the Twix cookie dough? Oh my gosh, delish. Um, I can't remember where I got these. And yesterday, when I typed up my blog post, I tried to find them, to link them, and I couldn't find them. So I feel like I got these at Walmart. I'm trying to think of where else I would have gotten them. I know I didn't get them at Target. I was with my daughter when I got them. Now I can't remember, but I mean, you guys can find them. Walmart, Five Below probably has them. All right, so this is a slider box and it slides and it'll fit just a regular little Twix candy in there too if you can't find the cookie dough ones, okay? All right, let's make our box first and then we'll do all the decorating. Okay, you're gonna need your Simply Scored or your trimmer. I like to use a Simply Scored. And the measurements, <laughs> Gail says, I think the servant house has the best goodies in your pantry. My two younger ones are really bad eaters. My oldest one could care less about candy and sugar, but my two younger ones love sugar. And so things don't last around here very long. I feel like I've probably been a bad mom and you know, we have too much of that stuff around here. But yeah, because I like sugar too, which is a problem. Okay, <laughs> the first piece, this is going to be like the tunnel part that we're going to slide the box in. It's um, seven by four and three fourths. Remember the measurements are right here on this PDF that's over on my blog. We're going to score it at three fourths, three and an eighth, 
three and seven eighths and six and a fourth. All right, and then you need another piece that is seven and three fourths by five and a fourth. Make sure it's five and a fourth because yesterday I did it and it was five and a half and it was totally wrong. So make sure it's five and a fourth. Um, because, you know, you cut the paper in half, you forget to cut off the extra quarter inch. You're going to score it at three-fourths and one-and-a-half on all four sides. Three-fourths, one-and-a-half, three-fourths, one-and-a-half, three-fourths, one-and-a-half. Okay? Okay, let's see. Where can I put this? Right here. All right. Now, let's do this one first. This is really easy. Just burnish those lines. Let's put on our this DSP on here before we put it together. You can use a silver side or the non-silver side. I kind of like the non-silver side better for whatever reason. All right, and then you're gonna put adhesive on there. Fold this flap in and fold it over and it'll match the edges. And there's your tunnel, okay? All right, now that, that was the easy part. Now this is a little bit trickier. We're gonna burnish all these lines. This little tray that slides in is gonna have rounded edges, all right? The, the edges aren't gonna be rough, they're gonna be rounded, which means we're folding in the sides, folding them over. And you have to think about what you're doing while you're doing it. Otherwise, you'll make a mistake. Let's see if I can do it right. Okay, the first thing you're going to do is cut off these two. Okay, cut those off. Then come over here and cut up here, but only cut this one off. And then cut the corners on all of them okay all right so then let's do it again on this side cut up and cut off and i'm going to cut this at an angle so i get the corner at the same time cut up cut off and then corners corner 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 Okay, so I asked about the weather and then I didn't see what you guys are saying. Did anybody have tornadoes? So scary. Um, and then I was gonna ask you, what are you gonna watch this weekend? Daisy Jones and the Six, did you guys read that book? It was really popular a few years ago. The series is out on Netflix this weekend, I believe. Came out today, I think. I didn't really like that book. Um, I feel like I was one of the only ones that didn't like it. All right, last one. If you've found a new show, let me know. I haven't found anything new other than I'm obsessed with The Last of Us and 1923, which ended this week, which I'm like, how am I supposed to wait however long? It's probably gonna be like two years or something. Why do they make us wait so long? Okay, there's what your piece looks like. Thanks for sharing, guys. Um, let's see if I miss any comments. Oh, gosh, I'm so tired of the Murdoch trial. Yes, I watched some of that, too. I think we all did. <laughs> I know that was a weird one, wasn't it? You know, there's um, a Netflix, um, a Netflix documentary. If you haven't, if you're into that, go watch it. My youngest daughter wanted to watch it, so we watched. We haven't finished it, but I mean, it's only like three episodes. It's interesting. <laughs> okay, so I have put adhesive here on all four of those outside flaps. I also put a little bit here, 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 and here so that I can fold up those little flaps like that so that it'll hold in place while I'm doing the other part. Okay. And then fold over and that gives you that rounded smooth edge right there is the rounded smooth edge necessary no but it makes up the box stronger and it looks nicer and then it just boop slides right in 
So you could put anything you want in here, but these Twix fit perfectly. Okay, now let's decorate it. Now, I'm not going to do the watercoloring, guys, because it's exactly the same as before, but polished pink, okay? And then when you're done, it's going to look like this, all right? So I'm just not going to do it because I just did it over there. <laughs> um, okay, but polished pink. And then we're going to use Versamark to stamp our flower, which is on the other tray somewhere. I used it already. Let me get it and clean it. If you want to see me watercolor it, and I, there's a video of this too over on YouTube, and I watercolor it. We've watercolored several weeks in a row, haven't we? I'm on a watercoloring kick. I have a bunch of just pieces of watercolored paper laying around and I'm using them up. Next week, guys, we're going to do Lucky Clover without the punch. All right. In time for St. Patrick's Day. Um, and then I'll be gone the following week. So there won't be any Facebook. Oh, what am I doing? I got to use that again. There won't be a Facebook Friday on the 17th, which is actually St. Patrick's Day. But next week, I'll be live. Okay, let's get the sentiment. I love this one. It says, I couldn't be happier to have you as my friend. And this is a basic black stitched rectangle. Okay. The clover punch is sold out. What did I just do with my finger? That looks, hmm, okay, whatever, I'm leaving it. Um, clover punch sold out. Wah, we know, boo-hoo. Everybody grumble, grumble, I know. But the stamp set is still available. So, we're gonna use it. And it's super cute. You know, I've just come to find that if there's a punch that you want, buy it right away we seem to have trouble keeping our punches getting enough punches in stock to keep up with demand and i really think it's just a matter of the catalog period being so short and they have to come all the way from overseas and then we just we just can't get enough of them so Lesson to be learned this time around. Definitely buy your punches if you want them before they sell out. Don't wait. Okay, now let's get our die and we will cut this beautiful flower. Now, if you don't want to do this, cut out the flowers from the DSP because they are kind of a watercolor look as well. Punches make things very easy, Michelle. I know. Very easy. You know, when I first started, everything was a punch. I like how the dies are versatile. You can get a lot bigger space. You can get more detail. But I also like the simplicity of a punch. Okay, now I kind of went a little crazy with the ribbons here. We're going to use three ribbons. The first one here is gray granite, and I'm going to tie a big loose bow that has long legs, okay, like that, and I'm going to, I'm going to use the gingham, I'm not going to tie a bow with that, I'm going to show you what I'm going to do, this is a foam adhesive sheet, and it's going to kind of help me grab all of these ribbons. I'm going to um, cut a pretty big square and put that there on the back of our flower. I'm going to take my gingham. Who thought you could put gingham with zebra? Well, you can. And I did. <laughs> all right, let's see. All you're going to do is just kind of loop it and loop it in the middle like that. Okay. And then I'm going to stick it on 
to that big piece of foam, All right? Then I'm gonna take this bow, I hope it's big enough, I don't know, yeah, it's big enough. I'm gonna stick that on there like that. See how these are just looking behind there? And then get a piece of the mesh, the silver mesh, pinch it in the middle like this. And I'm gonna cut another foam adhesive piece. And I'm gonna sandwich this like that on there. And that's gonna really just hold everything on. It's kind of ugly in the back, but who cares? Nobody's gonna see it. And then we'll just peel that off and stick that right there. It's a little crazy. This is the kind of bows my kids wore, the giant bows. Well, this zebra box needs a giant bow too. This is a foam adhesive sheet. If you haven't bought these yet, you should. They're awesome. If you like dimensionals, you'll love these. And then just stick that right there. Now, we also, ahead of time, cut out two silver two silver foil leaves and we'll use our liquid glue to just sandwich that in there like that and this one get all the doodads out And we'll sandwich that in there and ta-da! I love this box. I really have fallen in love with this, this Like an Animal Designer Series paper. Those new rhinos that we have, um, those online exclusive rhinos, they will go good, I think, with this animal print paper. Okay, what do you guys think? I couldn't be happier to have you as a friend. Those would make great party favors. The bridal shower or something. I think. <laughs> okay, now I have uh, some extra projects to show you, but I just want to make sure that everybody knows if you like these projects and you would like a little kit in the mail so you can make your own, make sure that you have an online order in by Monday at midnight. This is the host code you got to use and it has to be over $35. Um, I will update the video here with all the links so you can just click the shop link. The host code will be there for you. Um, what else was I going to say? I don't know. Okay, so that's that. Those are the make and takes that will be in this week's make and take kit. Here are the projects that I have to show you. This one will be on the blog on Monday. I've never used that border die before, but I love it. Okay, and there's some of that paper. Now, if you're on my team and you want to be surprised at our team meeting, then don't look at these because these are for our team meeting. There's that new ribbon. They make pretty simple cards too. Look at that. I mean, that's just that DSP and then stamped on a tag. All right, so that paper, that paper is gorgeous. Get it before it's sold out. <laughs> Okay, you guys, that's it for me today. Thanks so much for joining me. I hope you guys had fun. Let me know if you have questions. Um, I'll be back next Friday at 2 o'clock with three Lucky Clover projects. And I will see you guys next week. Thanks, everybody. Have a great weekend. Bye.